Hey everybody, what's going on? Back with a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about the fourth and final installment in the Carrie Maniscalco series. Today we are talking about capturing the devil. Now before I get into my video about this book, please, if you have not already or if you are new to my channel and throughout the video, hit that like button and also please subscribe, hit that bell so you get more notifications on my channel. I am trying to get 100 subscribers by the end of the summer. So please, if you can help me out, that'd be greatly appreciated. I always love the support I have from my fans and from my subscribers and viewers. So thank you very much. All right, so let's jump right into this. Like I said, we are gonna be talking about Carrie Maniscalco's Capturing the Devil. So Audrey Rose Wadsworth and Thomas Cresswell have just gotten off the RMS Etruria, which is from Escaping Houdini. So that's the boat right there, the RMS Etruria. Now, they are in New York and they are trying to capture another killer. This book is full of suspense, gore, intensity, and I love the overall layout of the storyline in this book. So as they arrive in New York throughout the story, Audrey Rose Wadsworth, Thomas Cresswell, and Audrey's uncle, Dr. Wadsworth, they are trying to hunt down this killer who is actually appearing to be kind of like Jack the Ripper. The murders that keep happening in New York tend to start looking like the murders that have happened over in London by Jack the Ripper. So New York is actually calling this insane serial killer the New York Jack Ripper or the New York version of the Jack the Ripper. Audrey Rose and Thomas are going back through their notes from the Jack the Ripper cases and they are trying to find similarities throughout this case. They keep looking and they're trying to find a similarity to it until they start stumbling over a letter that was left by and I can't give any spoiler alerts away this fourth book capturing the devil is actually relating all the way back to the first one in the series stalking Jack the Ripper now as the story goes along Thomas and Audrey start working their way and they end up actually having to travel to Chicago to follow these clues and mysteries to find the serial killer or what they call in New York the New York Jack the Ripper I really enjoyed capturing the devil because not only is it relating back to the first installment stalking Jack the Ripper but this book seems to have so much more pace to it it has a lot of intensity as I mentioned in the beginning and the clues that they Thomas and Audrey find throughout the story it really ties the book very well together all the way to the end if you are going to or have already read capturing the devil you are going to find out that the ending has lots of twists and turns and it is such a shocker it was a shocker to me once I found out the ending and I've enjoyed reading this book and the whole series together as a whole this book I'm giving four out of five stars because all the clues that I Thomas and Audrey Rose are putting it together to find out this New York Jack the Ripper or the serial killer is really amazing and I enjoyed the whole book all the way through from start to finish and if you have not read the Carrie Maniscalco series I highly recommend it and if you have please mention in the comments which story is your favorite what did you like or dislike about each one of them I would love to talk about this this was a great series so overall this whole Carrie Maniscalco series was stalking Jack the Ripper hunting Prince Dracula, escaping Houdini, and finally capturing the devil. I give this whole series four out of five stars. It is an amazing series. It is great. I love the whole collection that I have right here. As you can see, it is full of each picture from the story itself. Again, if you have not read any of these books in the series, please go out, check them out. If you love thriller, suspense, gore, crime investigating clues mystery this is an amazing series to read all throughout the characters again audrey rose wadsworth and thomas crestwall they are a great duo together they go hand in hand and all the way through you are going to find out that they become actually closer and closer together before i leave you today i want to mention please make sure you check out for my next upload i'm going to be talking about the novel that i have just finished which is called gwendy's final task by Stephen King and co-written by Richard Chismar. So everyone, thank you again for stopping in, checking out my video. I appreciate all the support and all my viewers. Again, please, if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the like button as well. Before I go, I must say, always, and I do mean always, read your book, cover to cover. We'll see you all later.